Big cars, fast cars, and cars packed with amazing technology all this morning on the Good Day Stateline Auto Showcase. It's gonna be a good day. We don't just have a good day, we make it a good day. Good day, Stateline. Good morning and welcome to the Good Day Stateline Auto Showcase. We are so excited to take you all over Rockford with Anderson Automotive this morning to show off the hottest new cars of 2021. But before we get to that, it's time for Let's Try It with Jason. Hello. We are at uh, Rock River Ford with Jason. We are going to get into the Ford F-150 right now. We are actually into the Bronco. Bronco Sport, yes. This is a big deal. This is a huge deal. Yeah. The Bronco is a, uh, a huge nameplate and everybody has been anticipating this thing finally coming out. So we're in the Bronco Sport. We've got the other one coming a little later this year, but this has been the one that all the buzz has been about for the last month. So we figured we'd do Let's Try It in the buzziest car. Our Let's Try It item today is this is it's called a Kaluli. It is a little adorable little uh, adorable car cooler, or you can use it at your desk or your office. Um, so we packed it with some goodies because most people could use it for drinks, but also my makeup's in here in case you need some. Jason. I do. You know, sometimes you got to live in your car. That's true. And you have to make sure your makeup doesn't melt. Does this feel cold to you? It's only been plugged in for a couple minutes. Oh, it is. I feel like it is. That's the whole excitement. This I don't know how you feel cool. about cold Doritos. Cold, cold Doritos melt. You can try those. We'll warm those up right here. Um, but yeah, like this has only been on for a few minutes and it is already cold, which is pretty this is great. That's the idea behind the Kaluli. Let me make sure there's some other features. I don't want to burst the anything, but you can also make it hot. <laughs> I don't think we should blow up the ginger ale in here. So cold and it hot. It is cold, right? It this is has cold. literally been, only been in here for like Just a, a few couple minutes, minutes, right? Which is really cool. That's like the trying feature, I guess. This is the classic 4L. It comes in different colors. We just got the white one. You just got to plug it in and then you pick cold or warm. That's great. Who doesn't want cold drinks like an hour into a drive, right? Right. Sometimes you don't want to open them right away. You can put my makeup down. Put your makeup down, I don't want to. Well, I mean, you can borrow it if you need some. See, anything else we should say about this? What do you think? Do you like it? I do like this and it, it will fit like just kind of out of the way. It's not just cumbersome and like taking up a lot of leg room, right? <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily put it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't put, put it right, right here. here. But we had to show but. you in the car. <laughs> It keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. And that's the best thing you can do, really, with a portable mini fridge. What else can you do? All right, well, cheers to you. Cheers. We'll be back with more. You can move this if you want to take a yep. step. With the Jason here at Rock River Ford after a quick look at the weather. Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dew. Well, today line, we're seeing some mostly cloudy skies overhead, and that's pretty much just going to be the story for our Sunday. Not really expecting any snow through the majority of the day, but we do have a slight chance for a few very light, very isolated flurries as we head into the latter part of this evening. Now we're going to hang on to that slight chance as we head both through the night and through most of the day tomorrow as well. We're also going to hang on to those mostly cloudy conditions at least throughout the first half or so of tomorrow, maybe seeing just a little bit of clearing as we head into tomorrow evening. Now temperatures today really going to struggle to exceed zero degrees and those wind chills going to make it feel more like 10 to even 20 degrees below zero throughout pretty much the entirety of the day. Now tomorrow we spend one more day in the single digits wind chills below zero pretty much through the whole day as well before teens return to the state line on Tuesday and then most if not all of the latter half of this upcoming week is going to feature highs in the 20s. Chance for a decent amount of snow though comes on Thursday. Michelle Abraham with our District 16 Troopers and we are talking about school bus safety. Our most precious resource is our children. When you see a school bus, follow at a safe distance. Expect frequent stops. Never pass while the stop arm is extended and these red lights are flashing. On a four lane roadway, opposing traffic does not have to stop. Penalties may include a three month suspension and a $300 fine. Just assume one of us is driving. These safe driving tips are brought to you by Fisk and Model Leone Law Office. 100 films, 5 venues, 10 days. It's the Beloit International Film Festival. Watch the films and mingle with filmmakers from around the world. February 21st through March 1st. Experience the power of film. Go to BeloitFilmFest.org for tickets.
Welcome back to the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. Jason, with us still at Anderson Ford. This is where we are kicking things off today. Excellent. Uh, tell me about what you guys have new in the showroom. This is one of the most exciting years with Ford. We've got all kinds of new product coming. We've got a brand new redesigned F-150. Of course, the Bronco Sporter's already landed. We've got the full-size Bronco coming later this year, and it is sold out until next year. And we've got the all-new Mustang Mach-E coming, which is an all-electric car, Ford's first mm. electric car. It's going to be one of the fastest cars that they produce. And uh, no gas. Who doesn't like not paying for gas? You know, my mom actually drives a Ford Mustang, a very old one. She makes my dad get gas. Yeah. So maybe she needs to get the new one and he won't have to go get her gas. Anymore. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Uh, so tell me, you know, what you do here and what's your favorite part about working here? So I am the general manager here on the Rock River Block. My favorite part is just helping people. Every day is different. That's what I love about this. I meet different people every day. I have different problems to solve every day. And there's no mundane uh, everyday tasks. Every day brings something new, and that's what we love. It's awesome, and you're also helping somebody find some, carve their dreams, which yeah. sounds pretty good. Too. Absolutely. Some people buy out of necessity. They have to. Sure. Some people are here because they just want the, the, the nicest, newest thing. And of course, those people that want to get those Mustangs, that's some of the most fun that we've had. So you can learn all about the F-150 as well as our other models at driveanderson.com. All right, we are inside the F-150. That is the only thing I know about this car, the name of it, and it's huge, but Jason knows everything. So tell me what's going on in here. Well, this is the all new redesigned F-150, the coolest new feature. Uh, everybody loves technology, right? Yes. So the coolest new feature that we have is this 12 inch touchscreen. So watch this thing right there. It's almost like having an iPad right in the car. It is huge. It's awesome. So the cool thing about Ford, Ford has for the last few years, they have had Apple CarPlay. You plug your phone in, you can control your apps right on the screen. Mm -hmm. It'll read your text messages to you. You can use your maps. And now, rather than having to plug your phone in, this is now wireless. Awesome. So my phone's in my pocket. My, my phone apps would show right up on the screen. I can use voice to text. It'll read, it's so safe. It's gonna cool. read all of my messages and make sure that we are driving safely and our, our eyes are on the road all the time. And it has like a little picture of itself. And a little picture of itself, <laughs> yes. It's a little vain. <laughs> what is your favorite feature um, besides just that the phone hooks up like that? The phone, okay, so the phone hooks up like that. My favorite feature, uh, other than that screen, if mm -hmm. I could show you, I'm gonna have you move your arm for a oh, minute. Okay. Check out the shifter. This is brand new. <gasps> Because these cars, they're not just cars, they're like mobile That's offices so cool. now. That thing always gets in the way. And you can get some work what? done. It is a desk. It's it's awesome. <laughs> it's so much uh, functionality in these in these now because again, your office rolls with you everywhere you go. Uh, whether it's your office, if you're having lunch on the go, you need to send a quick email, everything that you have is right here. The functionality is insane. That's and incredible. And then right back up and you're back to it. What other secrets are in this car? Well, there's storage everywhere. I mean, you've got storage in here. There's sliding trays, storage here. Uh, the seats fold up. You can almost fit more in the back seat than you can in the bed of the truck. So Maybe like pre-disease days, we could have like 30 people in here Just about, yeah. music. That's right. And it's got, speaking of music, it's got a great B&O stereo system. So those tunes are going to be blasting very, very loudly. That is so awesome. So I'm excited uh, to be in this car, which is obviously really, really, really new. But we are at Ford. Right. So we're going to talk about something really, 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 really old. <laughs> really, really old. Let's talk about Henry Ford. Let's do it. I got a little quiz for you. Okay. Okay? We got a few questions. So let's start. So the Henry Ford Auto Company was created in 1903. Is that true or false? That is such a hard question because what if it was 1904? Or 1902? Uh, I'm going to just go it's with... It's a coin toss. True. That is true. Okay. True. 1903. Okay, so the first Ford model was the Model T. Yes. What year did the Model T come out? Was it 1905, 1908, or 1903? Uh, 05. Eh, I'm sorry, it was 1908. Oh, bummer. Okay. It took a while for them to get that car. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It definitely did. A uh, couple more here. Okay. okay. What invention made car assembly easier? Was it uh, the light bulb, the motor, or the assembly line? The assembly line. I think I made that too easy. I also know that from the history of second grade or whenever I learned <laughs> that. That was second grade, <laughs> you're right. I I think, I'm pretty sure I remember that. Uh, was Henry Ford from Michigan, Texas, or Illinois? Uh, maybe he was from Illinois. It's Michigan. <laughs> you, you cheated. <laughs> you, you made me feel like it was Illinois. <laughs> Uh, one more. Okay. Henry Ford also invented 
the charcoal briquette. True or false? True. Of course it's true. Who doesn't know that? The charcoal briquette's my favorite kind of briquette. <laughs>Coming up next on the Good Day Stateline Auto Showcase, Jason and I are moving down the Rock River block to take a look inside the new Kia K5, and we're playing How Low Can You Lease? Make a stop at driveanderson.com for more of their awesome virtual auto show. We'll be right back. Here we go again. Another winter in the state line. It's nothing new. We've been through this before. Most of the time, it's no big deal. But sometimes, it can slow us down. Don't be disappointed by inaccurate extended forecasts that are nothing but hype. Make every day a first worn weather day and know exactly what's coming. The state line's most trusted forecast from Chief Meteorologist Candace King and the first worn weather team. Only on Eyewitness News. This season, the Dr. Oz Show remains your coronavirus headquarters. We won't stop until the virus does. The Dr. Oz Show. Jason, so we've walked down the Rock River block. Yes. We are now at Rock River Kia as part of the Good Day Stateline Auto Showcase. Uh, we are standing by the brightest car you have available. I think this is the <laughs> brightest car that we have. This is the all-new Kia Seltos. Kia has introduced a small SUV, yes. all-wheel drive. It's very affordable, and everybody wants one. The inside is really nice, too. I peeked inside. I think I could see myself driving a car like this because it's not enormous. It's not me. enormous, right. You have plenty of room for cargo, but it's maneuverable. You can park it in a tight parking space. Uh, it's just very easy to drive and fun. Well, we got to have fun. you got to have fun. Now, I hear you also have a fun car that is pretty large. You have one of we those, but, but it's hard to spot them here because you sell them so quickly. That's right. The thing <laughs> about it is the, the, the all-new Telluride. Uh -huh. And it's not even all-new. It's been out for about two years, but it, it's kind of like uh, a UFO or Bigfoot. <laughs> you just don't get to see one very often. Uh, it's it, that it, popular. It's that popular. You know, it won 2020. Uh, you know, it's not good enough just to have car and driver's car of the year or motor trend car of the year or even North American car of the year. The Telluride won world car of the year in 2020. Wow. Uh, so it's kind of a big deal. So why is it such a great car? Well, it's Kia's first third row SUV in quite some time. Okay. It's got awesome body lines. It's it's very functional. It's fun to drive. The styling is great. And it's got an awesome all-wheel drive system that's capable of just about anything. Is it one of your favorites to just drive around when you get the chance? It's one of my favorites to drive around, but I haven't gotten to do that very much. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'll suffer. So there's another car, another Kia you want to tell me about. It's the sedan, right? The sedan, yes. It's the K5. So the K5 uh, replaced what Kia had, which was the Optima last year. Okay. They decided to redesign it, rebrand it, make it a sports sedan. So it's really the perfect mixture of a sports car and the functionality of a sedan. You can fit people in it, but it's just fun to drive. And Kia has taken every detail into account. They're very, very attentive to detail and styling. So even down to the headlights of the K5, they modeled it, or they modeled it after a EKG off of Ooh, like a, a heart monitor. That's fancy. So you'll see that in the LED lighting right on the outside of the, of the headlight. We're going to get in there in just a second and check it out. But first, you're going to quiz me on some leasing Yes. Questions. So the coolest thing about Kia is, in my opinion, I might be biased, they make the most affordable cars okay. in the market right now. So let's talk for a minute about the Seltos, okay. about how low you can lease a Seltos. I'm going to give you a range of pricing, and you tell me where you think this is going to fall, okay. okay? So on a Kia Seltos, you could lease one for between... 170 to 220 dollars a month. Where do you think that it would fall? Well, both of those options are very affordable. Um, 195. That's pretty close. I see you cut it right down I the didn't middle. Cheat. 173. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. It's, it's awesome. Yes, the Sorento. 
It's a third row SUV, a little smaller than the Telluride, so it's a little bigger, so keep okay. that in mind. So we're gonna talk, uh, we'll start low. We'll go 250 okay. up to 385. I'm gonna play the prices right here and go with the 251. <laughs> the price is wrong, Bob. <laughs> 298. Okay. This is still pretty good. It's still very good. So we've kept it under $300 a month for the three freshest vehicles in the lineup that Kia has. All right, so we are inside the K5, the coolest car in the room, right? That is. You know, we talked about the way that Kia pays attention to styling on the outside. Mm -hmm. They really brought it inside the car, too. You can kind of see how all the lines really tie together. They've got the same thing uh, with the technology that, that a lot of the manufacturers do, the, these big touch screens. Mm -hmm. And we're in the GT line, so this is, a spe this is a special edition car. We've got the red leather. It really, it, it's a sports sedan all through and through, right? Safety is a big key as well. These, these cars are the safest on the road. There are airbags for your knees, airbags for your head, airbags uh, for, for all up and down your body. Awesome. And uh, they are made to deploy at different different rates based on your mm -hmm. speed. So it's cool. it's really awesome. Uh, Kia's really taken everything into account. And they're probably one of the most uh, reliable cars on the market. For six years in a row, JD Power awarded Kia the number one mass market brand in initial quality. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, the so, minute I sat in, I was like, oh, I feel like a, I could take a nap. You can take a nap. So comfortable. Uh, be like, I'm in a cool sports car, but I also feel like so safe. Like so there's safe. that different feeling, you know, I don't feel yeah. like the floor is going to fall out <laughs> underneath me. <laughs> you, you've got great visibility all around mm -hmm. and you just feel like you could drive this car anywhere. You really know which car you want to sell, huh? I do. <laughs> you can find all of these amazing cars at drivinganderson.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of the GDS Auto Showcase. Next, we're off to Toyota, where Ricky's going to tell us about the sexiest minivan of all time. We'll be right back. news anchor Mimi Murphy. The ARC is a not-for-profit serving this community, providing support and advocacy to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families since 1966. Whether it's helping parents raise their child with autism or Down syndrome at home, or assisting an adult with cognitive delays live safely in the community. The ARC offers a wide variety of programs and services at low or no cost. For more information, visit arcwbo.org. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. Legendary journalist Sam Donaldson weighed in on White House coverage then and now. We have questions that the public needs to have the answers to. And eviction. News Nation reported on laws renters and landlords should know. Families don't know their rights. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. 100 films, 5 venues, 10 days. Celebrating over 15 years of powerful independent filmmaking from around the world. Don't miss the Beloit International Film Festival, February 21st through March 1st. Experience the power of film. Go to BeloitFilmFest.org. Welcome back to the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. We are at Anderson Toyota this morning with Ricky Stout. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning. Welcome. Love, I love being in a room like this with beautiful cars, especially when it's cold outside. I like being inside. <laughs> yeah, it helps a little bit. <laughs> well, we, we like having you. We're pretty excited about this. A uh, little bummed because we're not going to have the uh, mall show, the right. auto show. but. We get you. Yeah. So we're super excited about that. Thanks. Yeah, I'm here. And also, uh, you have a virtual auto show at driveanderson.com for anyone who wants to check out, you know, a little more about these cars, right? Absolutely. It was super cool and a lot of fun to put together. We had uh, all the sales guys picked a car and did a little walk around and a presentation. Cool. So I hope it is informative and, and helps people out, helps get a chance to take a look at the car before they come out to the dealership. Absolutely. I love that. So tell me about the Sienna. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, well, You've never heard the term sexy <laughs> used with a minivan before, I bet. Until, no. until now. The first time, right here. It, it is. They did a super job. All new, completely redesigned, and I believe they just absolutely hit a home run with it. It's uh, hybrid technology, which means it gets 36 miles per gallon. Wow. For, for a minivan. Yeah. It's absolutely huge. 
<laughs> that is so perfect though. So many moms out there who are like hesitant to get a minivan, you know, they don't want one because it's not sexy, but now they can get one. I don't think it is. I think that's not the case anymore. <laughs> Some of the neat features of the car, it, it uh, can seat seven or eight. Okay. It's got an all wheel drive capability as well. So you can have all wheel drive, you still get your great gas mileage and you still get to haul around a big family. Which is important, especially important when you have the big family, the entertainment center. For sure, and top of the line uh, entertainment center to, to make to keep the kids busy back there. <laughs> uh, Apple CarPlay, wireless car uh, uh, phone chargers. Ooh. So it's really it's really got the got the goods. That's a lot going on in there. So tell me about um, some other hybrids that you have. Well, we've got a Prius that we're kind of looking at. Yeah. 53 miles to the gallon to get on the Prius. The Prius has been along, uh, around a long, long time. Super excited about that car. It's been a staple for Toyota for a long, long time. You know, uh, one other thing, uh, Michelle, about the hybrid technology in Toyota, they started this technology back, I think 2001 was the first hybrid that came to the, the States. Mm -hmm. 97, I think, in Japan. But the, it, they're just, they've got it dialed in. They've got a 10-year, 150,000-mile warranty on the hybrid battery. And not to mention, this is big, big news. In 22, the Tundra will be a hybrid. Ooh. The Toyota Tundra, big truck with 30-plus miles to gallon. Wow. That'll be big. We're really excited about that. We also have uh, Camry is uh, in a hybrid. Uh, number one selling car for 19 years. Not the hybrid version, but the reg regular sure. version. That's offered in a hybrid as well. Uh, the RAV4, very popular SUV, offered a, a hybrid, uh, great gas mileage for that as well. Uh, we also have the Corolla. Corolla is the number one selling car in the world, and it gets 53 miles to the gallon. That's so. incredible, especially, you know, the world has changed, obviously, in the last year, year and a half, and road trips are becoming even more popular, so having those cars with a better gas mileage is great. Yeah, it helps you it helps you stay in state, state bound, right? And, <laughs> and to travel our country, it's pretty cool. Absolutely, so why should we choose a Toyota? Well, you know, brings me back to a couple things that uh, I guess I've, I've, I've run into already is um, the Camry with the number one selling car for 19 years in a row. Corolla, number one selling car in the world. <laughs> uh, the, the RAV4 is the number one selling SUV. So we're very fortunate. We've got just absolutely legendary dependability with this product. Um, you know, that that's that's probably it. I guess it's easier for me to say why Anderson Toyota. <laughs> right. That's that's a little easier All right, for so me answer to answer that one for <laughs> me. A little bit easier for me to answer. Anderson family's been around for 50 years uh, in this community. Uh, very, uh, just a staple of our community, very community-based and minded, and uh, we want nothing but the finest customer service. Whether you're coming in looking for a $2,000 car or a $65,000, $75,000 car, you can get that neighborhood service that you, that you just expected from the Anderson family for 50 years. So for anyone who forgets which Anderson locations are in which spots, tell us, Ricky, where are you? Where are we right now? We are on the corner of Riverside <laughs> at Perryville, uh, the Toyota Lexus dealership, uh, kind of a combined corner, and uh, huge, huge lot with a bunch of inventory, uh, used car superstore, and uh, we just couldn't be prouder of the Toyota nameplate. Get your fur coat and your pearls. We're off to the luxury life next on Good Day State Line. Mike is putting me in the driver's seat of the first ever Lexus LC convertible. And we're getting the red carpet treatment. We'll be back in just a second. Wilson inviting you to join us for another Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Love is in the air for our Valentine's weekend show. This Winnebago Boone County face-off features the Pecatonica Indians and the North Boone Vikings. We'll see you this weekend for State Line Quiz Bowl.
This is the last weather app you'll ever need to install. Develop locally in part with the meteorologist you trust to get you through the storms. Live radar and weather alerts, not just for your location, but also for those of your friends, parents, and children. Check live weather cameras from across the state line. Get daily forecasts from Chief Meteorologist Candace King and the First Warn Weather Team. So when severe weather happens and the power is out, you're still connected. The My State Line mobile app, available now on all devices. Welcome back to the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. We are in the most luxurious uh, dealership. <laughs> Obviously, I'm dressed for the occasion. We're here at Lexus with Mike. Oh, good morning, Mike. Good morning. How are you doing today? Wonderful. I'm sitting by the warm fire. I'm in a warm jacket. I'm very comfortable in these chairs. I can't <laughs> imagine what kind of cars you guys have. <laughs> Only the best. Only the best. So tell me uh, what's going on with Lexus this year. Well, you know what? This year we have the LC convertible, so we've got a very high horsepowered summer car. We've got a nice, beautiful red one here. Um, we also have all-wheel drive, not only with our SUVs, but we also have the launch of the new ES all-wheel drive as well. Awesome. I love a red car. That's my favorite. You're going to get a convertible. Red be the one to get. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell me about um, the family friendly options that Lexus has because you don't always think family friendly when you think Lexus, but, but you But we should. have them. You yeah. know, we have the GX, which is a seven passenger. We have the RX, which comes either as a five or seven passenger. It's now available with the third row. We have the NX for a young family that has some small ones. So we do have some vehicles out there for family as well. I think a lot of people used to think Lexus was just out of their reach, whether it was for function or for price, but you can probably find a way I've to heard that a lot over the years, and in reality, you take a look at where our cars are at in the market, our cars aren't that far out of reach, if not right where the others are at. And they look cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the red carpet treatment here at Lexus. Well, you know, one of the things that we do is we have 18 Lexus loaner cars, so when you do come in with your car, you're getting a Lexus to drive while we're taking care of your car. Your car, when you pick it up, is going to be hand washed and vacuumed, and I offer that courtesy every Saturday as well. Um, so you can bring your car in any Saturday from 9 to 3, and it's going to be hand-washed and vacuumed. Uh, this year, this time of year especially, what my What we've goodness. been doing <laughs> this year with everything is you stay in your car and okay. you drive it through the process. And so everybody is social distance, everybody it. is safe, but you still get the clean car. That's great, and it's too cold to wash your car yourself right now. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody else needs to be doing that. Uh, so tell me um, what else uh, we need to say about that convertible. You know, um... I think the biggest thing with that car is the fact of the, the, the power that that car has and the styling that that car has. The convertible top comes down awfully quick, so you can take it down and get out and play real quickly. So how long have you been with Lexus? Uh, 21 years. That's a, like a whole person who can drink now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about working here? The people. The people. The customers. The customer experience. Um, being able to offer somebody something like the car wash or a loaner car and doing those little things and, and making a difference in somebody's day. And that absolutely is true. And even when we just walked in, you know, we walked around by the fireplace, I saw snacks, I saw candies. The first thing I saw when I walked in the door, I was like, oh, I'm very welcome to here. <laughs> Try to make a difference, try to do something somebody else isn't doing. And you guys have won some awards as well. You know, we have. Uh, one of them is the one behind me is the Dealer Raider, which is all based on uh, customers' reviews that they send in. So that's a huge award for us. That's not anything other than our customers' feedback. So we can talk a lot about the cars, but I think we should probably go check some out. Let's go do that. All right. <laughs> okay, so we made it inside this convertible. Tell me why I should own this. Because you look great in it. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it's the Lexus LC500. Right. Um, the horsepower of this car, 471. I got this in my hand, I should. 471 horsepower, ultimate luxury with performance. Hard to beat. It's so fancy in here. It's going to get fancier, isn't it? It's going to get fancier. Okay, Just push we'll, that button. Oops. We'll get to turn the car on first. Just such a simple button. No key. No key. Well, key's over there, but. Uh, I can't see it. You have to hold it down. Hold it down. I've never done this before. Yeah, you have now. <laughs> it's a beautiful summer day. Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> and look how quick that did that. That was awesome. 
I'm sure there's a bunch of other awesome things that happen in this car, but that one takes the cake for sure. That is a big one. So what's something else you would want to tell someone if they were interested in buying this car? Again, I think the, the, the biggest push on this car is the fact of the horsepower, so you have the performance, but it still has the Lexus ride, it still has the Lexus luxury, it still has the quiet Lexus ride as well. And that's important, especially Very with a fancier car, with a high-powered car, you want it to be quiet. There's actually room quiet. for uh, small people back there. <laughs> with no legs. Hey, whatever, <laughs> little, little kids like to ride in luxury, too. <laughs> I would start the engine, but I don't think you want me to drive through your showroom. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> So to view all the new 2021 Lexus models, the best thing to do would be to go to the virtual auto show at driveanderson.com, pick out the vehicles that you want to take a look at, and then come into the showroom and take a first-hand look. Remember to driveanderson.com for even more virtual auto show Lexus luxury. Up next on GDS, a car that parks itself. Seriously, we'll be right back after a quick look at the weather. Close day line and a happy Valentine's Day to you. It's going to be a cold holiday, though. I just want to remind everyone, a wind chill warning is in effect for all the counties in the, on the Illinois side of the state line. Wind chill advisory for those of you up in southern Wisconsin. Now, this is primarily for the dangerous wind chills that we saw early this morning. These are, are set to expire at noon today. However, we're going to hang on to some pretty bitter wind chills through the entirety of the day. Now, even though temperatures will be floating around zero, maybe just a little bit above zero in a few spots, those wind chills are going to be down anywhere from around 10 to even 20 degrees below zero through the entirety of the day, even at the warmest point of the day this afternoon. So it's going to be a cold day ahead indeed. And we do see a slight chance for a little bit of snow come later on this evening. We're going to hang on to that chance going through Monday as we spend one more day in the single digits. Teens, though, expected to return to the state line by Tuesday. Good bit of sunshine and 20s uh, return to the state line on Wednesday and then 20s for a few days thereafter as well. I'm Michelle Abraham with our District 16 Troopers, and we're talking about construction zone safety. Construction zones pose an increased risk to motorists and workers alike. Watch for uneven pavement and narrow lanes. Heavy equipment and barriers near the traffic lane. Pay attention to the flagger. Follow at a safe distance. Always obey the posted speed limit. The workers in these zones deserve our utmost attention. Please give them a break. These safe driving tips are brought to you by Fisk and Model Legon Law Office. 100 films, 5 venues, 10 days. It's the Beloit International Film Festival. Watch the films and mingle with filmmakers from around the world. February 21st through March 1st. Experience the power of film. Go to BeloitFilmFest.org for tickets. Welcome back to the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. We're hanging out with Brian today. And Brian, I'm going to have you correctly pronounce where we are. So we are located at Hyundai on Perryville. Hyundai. Yep, Hyundai. The most difficult one for me to pronounce. <laughs> so I wanted you to do it for me. Hyundai Fun Day. <laughs> Hyundai Fun Day. On Sunday Fun Day. On Sunday Fun Day. Even better. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> so we're at Hyundai. I probably still did it wrong. It's a very awesome brand, though, for cars. Of course, it's been around forever. Tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about what you guys have going on here. So Hyundai has been around for quite a while. Hyundai Motor of America came here in 1989, and they have just make ground with groundbreaking technology, which is high on tech and low on price for Hyundai. So Hyundai has a lot of stuff going on here. Um, from standard blind spot collision, you have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and so much more going on with this, all backed by America's best warranty of a five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper and a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Warranties are very important. Very important. Especially in the winter. <laughs> exactly. You never want something to go wrong. <laughs> no, you don't. So what are some of the like hot cars that you guys have right now? The hottest cars we have are definitely going to be the Palisade and the all-new redesigned Santa Fe and also the Elantra. Those are going to be more of our top sellers here. I feel like the Elantra is like such a fun name to say. It is a very fun, <laughs> it's a fun, fun car too. Fun car too. And this one's fun too. We love this color. This is the Veloster N. So this is the sports car for Hyundai. 2.0 turbo, six-speed manual. It's a, it's a fast one. So any of the vehicles that we have in the showroom and our inventory, you can look more of them on driveanderson.com for the virtual auto show. Brian. 
uh, and you have to show me maybe the coolest thing. This might be the coolest part of the car. So this is gonna be called Smart Park. Okay. So for this, if someone parks too close to you or it's a very tight parking spot, on the key fob, you just remote start the vehicle and it starts right up. Mm -hmm. And on the fob, you have these two buttons here. So if you wanna back it up to get out of the parking spot, you just press and hold it and the vehicle actually will pull forward or backwards out of the spot automatically without doing anything. That seems as illegal. You, as soon as you release, <laughs> it stops. That's awesome. So we're inside this car. Tell me about it. <laughs> so this right here is the all new redesign for the 2021 Santa Fe. Okay. This is the limited model, so it's gonna be a lot more loaded than the, the standard model. Okay. On this, one thing you notice is the eight speed uh, transmission with the gear shift, so it's all in button. So since there's no actual transmission Ooh. there, you have the floating dashboard underneath for more storage and charging spots underneath there. Cool. It can be a little overwhelming, but it's very user-friendly. Once once you know the buttons, it's nice and easy to go over. And that's what we're gonna do now. You're gonna test me on some of these buttons, right? We're gonna right? test you on some of the buttons. Okay. So the first one I'm gonna have you look for is a surround view monitor. Is it this button? It will not be that button. Okay. So this is a custom feature button. Oh! So the button you'd be looking for is right here. So you press that button, and when you're in driver reverse, <gasps> cool. you can make the camera systems pop up, so it shows you all the way around the vehicle. No, wait a second. Where is that camera? So the, the cameras, there's one camera on the front and the back, and one under each, each each mirror. So it just compiles the photo together to make it look like you're looking from the top down that is so to make cool. sure you're in the parking spot. That is so cool. It's like when you're on a cooking show. Exactly. That's what that is. That is awesome. <laughs> this is obviously very cool, but I am impressed by that one. The really the nice feature, especially when you're parking, making sure you're in the parking yeah, spot, right, you're not going to hit the curb. Out. Exactly. I need that. What else we got? The other feature we're going to have is going to be the child safety locks with safe exit assist. I found this one already because Joel's in the back. <laughs> this button keeps Joel inside. That button right there. <laughs> the button lets him out. <laughs> it also uses the blind spot detection. So if you're parallel parked and you try to open the door and it senses a vehicle coming, it actually won't let you open up oh, the door with that awesome. button as well. That is so cool. So you just have it on at all times to protect yourself from that. Yep. Very cool. And then the last feature, we're going to turn the car on so you can hold your foot in the brake real quick. I can't reach. <laughs> Wait, I don't really think I can. How do I move? The power on the left. <laughs> <laughs> they have really short legs. Okay. Let me put my seatbelt on. Okay, I'm putting the brakes. What do I do now? And then push the, uh, the start button right there. And then the last one is going to be the surround view monitor uh, the, with the blind view monitoring system. Okay. So on there, if you want to find the blind view monitoring system. Over here. It will not be over there. It will be more towards the steering wheel side. Yep. It's this. It's this. That's me to lane keep assist. So for this one, all you do, you turn on the turn signal, okay. and up on the digital display, it will <gasps> actually visibly show you no! the lane, so you can see the blind spots on top of the blind spot detection. That is so cool. <laughs> so that's incredible. Who did all this work? <laughs> Hyundai's come up with some really cool features to make it nice and easy and keep you and your family safe on the road. And keep you entertained. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask for more than a Sunday fun day Hyundai, or can you? More of the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase is coming up next with Mazda and Nissan. But first, it's birthday time. Happy birthday to Eva, who is celebrating tomorrow, February 15th. And also happy birthday to Sarah. Her birthday's on the 21st. Send us your birthday shoutouts anytime at Good Day State Line at WTVO.com. We'll be right back. Looking for your next car? Ask Auto to find it for you. With Ask Auto, car shopping is easy, fast, and enjoyable. Tell Auto about the car you'd like to find, your budget, and relax. Ask Auto will notify you when dealers nearby have the right car for you. Then connect with these dealers through Ask Auto without sharing your email or phone and get your exclusive offer. You are in the driver's seat. So what are you waiting for? Head over to mystateline.com slash askauto and get started today. It's going to be a hot mess, everyone. Tune in. <laughs> Tomorrow at 9 on WTVO.
Welcome back to the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. We are inside Anderson Nissan with Jamie, and you are going to tell us about why this is such a cool, um, such a cool dealership. I will. Thanks. Thanks for having us, Michelle. You know, I think one of the great things about coming to this store in particular is the atmosphere that we create when you're here for either sales or service. Sure. Um, you, you don't have that pushy atmosphere when you normally walk into a car dealership. We, we, we have a family-like atmosphere here, and I, I think you'll, you would recognize that when you talk to our employees. You walk into the showroom, it's just this one big awesome room where everyone's hanging out. Yeah, I yeah, love that. Yeah. The we, cars in the middle, and tables and chairs. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually the first Anderson store of all of them. It is. Uh, this was the, the first store. It used to be on the corner of Harlem and Alpine, and in 2012, we moved it to this oh. location on State and Trainer across from Target, but it opened in 1970, so 51 years now in, wow. now in service and sales. That, that's a good amount of years to say you're it doing is. a good job. It is, thank you. <laughs> so what's next for Nissan? Nissan has a lot of neat things coming down the line. Um, you know, next month we have a new Armada coming. Um, in the s late spring, we have a new Pathfinder coming. That's a seven passenger SUV. Um, late summer, we have a new Frontier, totally redesigned from the ground up. That's a mid-sized truck, which a lot of people have a use for. Um, toward the end of the year, we, we have what they call an Aria coming. That's going to be a, a groundbreaking, 100% electric SUV. Um, it's going to be the most technologically advanced car Nissan has ever built. It'll be 100% electric. Wow, so what is your favorite thing about working here? I think the favorite thing is, well, for working for the Anderson family. Uh, for a company that's been in business for 50 something years, we got a great reputation and, and uh, we, we pride ourselves on taking care of people. All right, so tell us about this Rogue. Well, this is our 2021 Rogue. It is all redesigned from the ground up and it has so much technology. I could keep you here for an hour, <laughs> but what I want to do is I want to show you the new ProPilot Assist. The ProPilot Assist has been on the Rogue since 2018, but uh, it enhanced it. Now it has got NaviLink. ProPilot Assist in general is it's going to keep you in the middle of the lines um, as well as a safe distance from the car ahead of you or at the designated speed that you want to be at. Um, have you ever tried that at all before? No. All of these settings you can actually change. So if you don't like something, if you don't like it to do the steering assist, you can take that off and just do the intelligent cruise control where it's going to keep you a safe distance from the car ahead of you. You do have a lane departure warning, so if you go over the lane, it will warn you. If you uh, if you do happen to go over that lane, it's using the opposite brakes to pull you back over as well. Okay, we're going to get up to speed here. And just like your traditional cruise control, I'm going to set it. And as soon as it found the lines, it, it dinged at me, so it is good to go. So right now, that car is going to get in front of us. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> It was going to slow us down if that car got in front of us, like it is now, and it's going to slow down. It didn't slam on the brakes, it didn't go crazy, it just slowed us down to it's about 62 miles an hour. And it's so smooth. Very, very smooth. Crazy. So it saw the speed limit sign for 65. It asked me if there's a new speed limit, so I am going to click down and it automatically went down to the new speed limit. You can make it, that a manual adjustment or an automatic adjustment. So that way you don't uh, get a speeding ticket. And that's important. It is. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay, so I haven't I haven't touched the steering wheel for a second. Just so you know that it is not just cars driving out there by itself. It's going to do this for a second. I still haven't done anything. It is going to beep and kind of give you the brakes. So if you did happen to fall asleep, it will wake you up. It will wake you up. And then sirens will go off. I don't want to do that to your cameras or anything. <laughs> so we are at Anderson Mazda with Pete. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. I love the acoustics in here. It's nice. <laughs> it's clean. We got some pretty cars to talk about. Uh, tell me, you know, what we want to know about Mazda. So the big news would be our next generation. Um, we've moved from the previous generation of the Mazdas to our seventh generation, um, where we've actually taken a step toward making a premium automobile. Um, best example would be the CX-3 to the all-new CX-30. Um, right now, Mazda makes the most reliable vehicles on the market, according to Consumer Reports. The CX-30 specifically is the most reliable among all eight tested. Oh. Um, and the awards and accolades that they're getting are tremendous. So they've got styling awards, design awards, technology awards. The most important thing, I think, is the safety awards. Mazda has more top safety picks, according to the IIHS, as well as the most reliable vehicles you can buy. 
it's so important. You can have the coolest car in the world, but if it's not safe and reliable, what's the point of buying it? Exactly. <laughs> so let's look at these cars uh, specifically. So tell me what has changed from that car to this car. The thing that most people notice right off the bat would be the headlights. So today you have the high intensity discharge or the halogen beams. On our next generation, you've got LED headlamps, LED tail lamps, their signature LED. You'll also notice that the grills are slightly different in both shape and function. Um, as well, you've got all of our iActive Sense technology in this, so you've got the forward-facing cameras, the adaptive cruise control. This one even has the adaptive headlamp, so if you're going around a curve, it'll actually bend the beam of light so that you can see the curve you're coming towards. That's like the future. It is. <laughs> That's so cool. What about inside? What are the differences in there? Um, an upgrade in premium quality. Um, we've got top grain leather, we've got soft touch surfaces, and Mazda's design concept of less is more. So it's a very clean, very simple to use, and easy to understand, human-centric focused interior. All right, Pete, what's your favorite part about working uh, at Anderson Mazda? Two points. Um, the Anderson Group in general is a, a family organization, and it, it's really unique in the car business. Um, it's very employee focused. Can you pick your favorite Mazda vehicle? Probably the CX-5. Don't tell the other cars you said that. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they know. And if you're looking for more information, you can always go to driveanderson.com and check out our virtual auto show. You can get even more details on that Nissan Rogue at driveanderson.com. We have one more stop on the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. Chad Anderson is teaching me how to drive a Jeep up a snow hill. You don't want to miss that. You also don't want to miss your chance to be our fan of the week. This week, we asked you on our Facebook page all about your favorite car. Our fan of the week is Chris. Chris says his 2005 Honda Accord, a car with almost 240,000 miles on it, so reliable. The trips, passengers, and stories he could tell us about might amaze us. Chris wins a GDS Fan of the Week swag bag, and you can win one, too. Just check out our Facebook page to find out how you can be our next Fan of the Week. We'll be right back. from around the world. Don't miss the Beloit International Film Festival February 21st through March 1st. Experience the power of film. Go to BeloitFilmFest.org. Hi, I'm Eyewitness News anchor Mimi Murphy. The ARC is a not-for-profit serving this community, providing support and advocacy to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families since 1966. Whether it's helping parents raise their child with autism or Down syndrome at home, or assisting an adult with cognitive delays live safely in the community. The ARC offers a wide variety of programs and services at low or no cost. For more information, visit arcwbo.org. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. Legendary journalist Sam Donaldson weighed in on White House coverage then and now. We have questions that the public needs to have the answers to. And eviction. News Nation reported on laws renters and landlords should know. Families don't know their rights. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. Welcome back to Good Day State Line. It is our auto showcase. We're at Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with Bob Williams. Hello, Bob. How are you? Good. I'm in the middle of all these awesome cars. I know. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> $94,000 right in front of you there. I stayed away from that. <laughs> Tell us what's going on over here. You know, we've got some really cool stuff coming out this year for 2021 in Jeep particularly. <laughs> we've got a brand new Grand Cherokee coming with third row. First time they've ever done the oh, third wow. row. Yeah, in the Grand Cherokee. That's huge. Yeah, it is. And they're bringing back a vehicle that they haven't built since 91, the Grand Wagoneer. And they built that for like 30 years. It was like the, the first luxury SUV. Okay. And they're bringing that back for 21 as well. That's something very exciting to look forward to. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's real good stuff. For the third year in a row, Motor Trends Truck of the Year for the all new TRX. 
ba basically it's a Hellcat engine in a Ram truck. So that, we're excited about that, that too. That sounds like it is perfect for someone who needs a new truck. You've got to come back whenever we get us <laughs> okay. so we can take it out and see how fast we can get going down State Street. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so we are inside the Dodge Durango with Blake. I'm going to put my seatbelt on. It smells new in here. I love it. Tell me what's cool about this car. So one really cool thing about the Durango this year is they came out with a new Uconnect 5 system. It's a 10.1 inch screen. Before in a lot of our models, you had to plug in your phone with a cord in yes. order to get Apple, Google CarPlay or anything like that to work. Now everything is all wireless and it's five times faster than it was before. So we're really excited about that new technology. It's out in the Durango now, the Pacifica and coming later in the year in other models as well. That's amazing, and that looks like there's a lot of things you can adjust on this screen. Yeah, and everything's touchscreen. It makes everything really super simple. If you want to go in and adjust your heated seats, Ooh. heated steering wheel, dual temperature climate control, if you want to check anything on your vehicle from your rear view camera to anything like that, you can do all that as well. So one really cool thing about the Durango this year is they came out with a new Hellcat Durango. For the first time ever, only in 2021, okay. you can get a 710 horsepower third row SUV that does zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. So if you want to talk about having a fun car <laughs> and still being able to take your family anywhere you want to go, the new 2021 Durango Hellcat's the way to go. All right, Chad. So first, tell us what car we are in. We are in the uh, 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Edition. It's a pretty cool car. It is. Pretty, it's Nothing's cooler on the road, that's for sure. That's why everyone buys them. That's why they have such a cult following, mm -hmm. uh, which is why we're in it today. So uh, this is one of the coolest things. If you could drive anything, this is one of those any things you would drive. Isn't there a fancy way for people who drive? Jeep? Yeah, definitely. Jeep boy. <laughs> All right, so you were born into this family, yes? Yeah, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about the Anderson history here. Uh, Anderson history, uh, 1970, 50 years ago in 2020, so last year. Uh, we celebrated our 50th anniversary. Uh, my grandfather started, Gene Anderson, started a uh, service station and gas business in Loves Park, Illinois, on uh, Harlem and North 2nd Streets. Okay. Um, still is very well known to this day. I still get a lot of compliments and stories about the service station and awesome. people, uh, you know, meeting him and working with him and doing business with him over the years. And then uh, he took a chance on a uh, new business venture to add uh, a young upstart new to the United States import company called Datsun to, uh, to his service station business, looking for an opportunity to grow. Uh, most people today will know that Datsun became what we know as Nissan. Oh, okay. So if you ever remember our, really our first dealership at Harlem and Alpine Lowe's Park, just mm -hmm. down the road from the old service station, um, you know where we came from. <laughs> okay, so... I so can't reach just, the pedals. Well, you can move the seat. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Got, got good command of steering wheel, the pedals, all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. All right. It's really, it's not that complex. Okay. Drives just like your car, except it's... Just, better? Just, just bigger and better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, shifter, obviously, you're okay. going to put this thing in the drive, okay. and then uh, you're going to start creeping up this ramp a little bit. Okay. And then when you feel it kind of, you know, struggling to get up, just give her a little bit of gas and let her go. It's got big tires on it. They're grippy. It's going to it's gonna crawl right up this thing. Okay, so just put it in drive. Yep. That was easy. One, two, three. Yep. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you got it. How do we get well, I mean, You can go over the whole thing if you <laughs> want. But, <no. laughs> Okay, comfortable. Thanks for parking. <laughs> yeah, how are we going to get out? That's easy. You just got to fall out of it. Oh, great. Are we up? Yep. Okay. Guys, we're done. Next time you drive down East State Street, check out my cute red Jeep for me. Let me know how it's doing. It's still up there in the snow. We'll be right back with your Good Day State Line calendar task of the day and an awesome GDS Auto Showcase giveaway in just a second. This is Bob Minetti and his wife, Wendy. In 2016, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Bob participated in a clinical trial that included cutting-edge radiation therapy and surgery. He's been in remission since completion. I'm so glad I learned what was possible for me. Stand Up to Cancer and Lust Garden Foundation are working together to make every person diagnosed with pancreatic cancer a long-term survivor. Visit pancreaticcancercollective.org.
That's GN Sports, weeknights at 1030, right here on Fox 39. Thanks so much for spending your Valentine's Day with us here on the Good Day State Line Auto Showcase. You can get even more Anderson Auto Fun right now at driveanderson.com. Check out the latest models from the comfort of your couch. Plus, your Good Day calendar task is to devour some chocolate. So I have a feeling you can do that while you're virtual car shopping as well. You'll also want to check out gooddaystateline.com for our Auto Showcase giveaway. We're hooking you up with a chance to win our Good Day State Line Auto Showcase prize pack and that cute Kaluli mini fridge we tested on Let's Try It. Don't forget to check out this week's episode of Wine Wednesday with Instagram influencer and life coach Jamie King, the Slay Coach. She's giving us incredible tips to live our best lives. You'll fall in love with her and her purple hair. Coming up next week, we are taking you inside an immersive Vincent Van Gogh exhibit in Chicago, telling you all about Clean Hippie's new product and Sweet Letty from 97ZOK is joining me right at 9 for a new Let's Try It. Have a great rest of your Sunday and make it a good day. Bye-bye.